Hey guys, Matt from Creek Bank. I've been getting a lot of questions about these new pumps that we got. Um, here's a one of the new boxes of the pumps come in. 570 gallons per hour. Um, been getting a lot of questions about how to actually swap the pump out with the current pump that is in the tank. Um, these are made for the 30s and 50s only right now. Uh, we will be putting them in the 75s when we go and release those. Um, but let's dig into this and show you guys how to swap it out. So when you open the box, this is what you're going to see. Um, it comes with quite a few different fittings. Uh, we don't use half of any of these, so really don't need all of them. But they're there. Some of these might be used in different applications outside of our tank, so there is quite a few different fittings. Uh, we'll just toss that box out to the side. So this is the new pump. These are the fittings that you'll get inside the box. Uh, first thing that we do is we take these rubber feet off. There's no need for them in our tanks. If you guys want to keep them on, you're more than welcome to, but uh, we do take them off before we ship them. So there's the new pump. Here's the fittings that it comes with. Some applications will require this fitting. Uh, we haven't ran into too many tanks that actually need this but it is included in case you wanted to lay your pump down this way. Um, I don't recommend it, but it's there in case you want to. This is gonna be the one that you want. It's not the biggest one, but it's the second to the biggest. So it would be this one. You're gonna screw that directly into the top of the pump. Try not to over tighten it. This little plastic ring around the base will crack if you tighten it down too tight. So I just kind of snug it up. Um, after you're done with that, you're going to want to come over here to your tank and go to your filter side, open that, take your filter box out. You'll see old pump in there, stand tube. You can pull the stand tube out too if you'd like. It gives you a little bit easier access in there. Um, first thing that I do is I come over here to the wiring and I go ahead and pull the wiring out. If there's a knot here, just undo that knot, pull it from the inside out. Um, then I'll grab it here. It's kind of hard to see with my hand in the way, but I'll grab it here right at this fitting with the Danco. I'll kind of give it a couple wiggles, pull it at the same time, pull it right off that Danco. So that's what it will look like outside the tank. Um, the two tools that you will need to do this uh, is going to be pair of tubing cutters that's what we use here and then i also use a big flathead screwdriver this isn't necessary but it helps um, for getting that fitting back onto that danco uh, once we put the new pump in so first thing i do pull your pipe off the pump set the pump out of the way a lot of times this pipe will fit the way it is sometimes you have to trim anywhere from a half inch to an inch off of this pipe because this new pump is a little bit bigger. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim this. We'll say, I'll do about an inch to start with. Trim that off, set those aside. I'm gonna uncoil the wire here before I start assembling the new pump. Just kind of undo that wire and set it to the side. I'm gonna grab the new hose, put it on the fitting, push it all the way to the base, take the new pump. I always slide the pump all the way over as far as I can over to that side of the tank. So it should look close to this right here. Sometimes it doesn't fit perfect. That one actually fit perfect, the length of this hose. If it's too far out here, you're gonna to wanna to trim out a little bit of that hose a little bit more um, but this one actually worked pretty good so then I'm gonna take that flathead screwdriver that we talked about I'm gonna put it right there at the bottom of the tank and I'm just gonna push it forward to pry that fitting right back onto that Danco um, like I said it's not needed but it helps it makes it easier um, this pump sits real far up against this wall over here kind of try to get it as far over there as I can um, so that's how you put the new pump in. And then you're going to put your standpipe back in. It just pushes in, twist it, make sure it's straight. 
I'm going to grab the wiring. The wiring goes through this hole right here on the side of the bait tank. Um, kind of find the hole inside with the wires. Push the wires through. Just guide it from the inside while you're pulling it from the outside. That's what it'll look like. Then you're gonna put your filter box back in. It slides right down. And you're done. If you have any more questions about anything, go ahead and reach out to Andy. Um, you can contact us on Facebook um, or I think Andy's phone number's on the website. But yep, there you go guys. If you have any questions, let us know. We appreciate you.